kind of show what happens when that. So, screen here lights up red, 911, and then what do you hit? I hit answer. Okay. 911, what's the location of emergency? What's up guys, so I'm here with Officer Hamilton and we are on the road. We're heading to our 911 dispatch center because this week is National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week. So we're gonna go down to the center and kind of explain how the 911 center works, what happens when you call 911, and we'll meet some of the people that actually answer the phones when you call 911 in Ingham County. So you can't go to dispatch empty-handed. So on our way we stopped got cookies and little meat platter, you know, we, we hook them up. So come with us, we're going to show you how the center works, what happens when you call 911, and then how they communicate that to the officers and firefighters on the road. It should be cool. Okay, so here's the center. I'm here with Kim, and Kim is the dispatch supervisor today. So she's gonna kind of take us through, a walk through of what, what goes on in the dispatch center. In the dispatch center, when you're looking straight out this way, you're gonna see this section, which is all our call takers. They are the ones that answer the phone lines for all of Ingham County, whether it's an emergency or non-emergency, um, whether you're asking for police, fire, or EMS. All incoming calls go through them, and they, will weed out whether or not it's an emergency or not an emergency. If it's an emergency, we're going to take that information first. We're going to do our interview with the caller, and we ask a lot of questions, so we really need callers to be patient. Um, these questions are important not only for us to get um, the proper responders to respond, but to make sure the responders are safe as well. Once they take the call and they get all the information that they need, a call gets entered for service and it goes over to this side of the room. Now if you're looking all the way back, that's our police dispatchers. They're divided into four areas. So we have two dispatchers that dispatch for the city of Lansing and Lansing Township. And then the other two dispatchers will dispatch one for East Lansing and MSU. The other one dispatches for the remaining part of the county. So let's head over to 911. Okay. <laughs> and we're just you want to introduce for a yourself call. for the YouTube? Yeah, hi, my name is <laughs> well, you're gonna you're gonna edit this, right? No, my name's Jim Huff. I'm a 911 operator here in Ingham County, the 911 center for uh, 27 years and eight months, seven months. Can you kind of take us through the call taker side of things? How that works? Person will call in here, uh, either on the 911 line or on a non-emergency line for any of the departments throughout the Ingham County area. Uh, they come into this center here. At that point, we interview the caller to determine what type of service is needed, whether it's police, fire. Right, so, okay, so you have a call for East Lansing pulled up here. Correct. It's a parking complaint. So the employee from the business Teriyaki and Gyro will call on this phone, answer it from my end of it. I'll gather his information, put it into the call, that's what we need, the address, employee's name usually, and a phone number, business name, which assists the dispatchers on that side as to what that location is. So then that call will be assigned from Josh over there, the East Lansing dispatcher, East Lansing MSU dispatcher, and he will assign that to the PACE unit that's out on the street. There's a 911 call coming in right now. Yes. 911, what's the location of emergency? He doesn't have any weapons or anything like that. Does he? Is he just being verbally abusive? 
Yeah. All right, no problem. Can I help you? So as we are kind of doing our interview here, a 911 call came in. The call around this is with security. They have a client that's been released from their custody and he's refusing to leave the property. So we notice the center right now has balloons, it's decorated, movie posters, red carpet. Is yep. that how you guys always have it in here? No. Uh, once a year we have, we celebrate telecommunicator week. And basically it's a whole week of telling our dispatchers how much we appreciate all the hard work, um, all the time that they spend here, lots of time away from their family, um, canceling plans and stuff like that. Um, so it's our way of saying thank you. Our theme this year is movies. So we have lots of movie posters. Um, we have our red carpet for them. Lots of things. Awesome. So this side of the room is our dispatchers. This side of the wall, these two are our fire dispatchers. When we come into this wall area over here, these four dispatchers are dispatching for the police department. So these two over here are dispatching Metro or Lansing, City of Lansing and Lansing Township. Over here in the corner, he's dispatching for Ingham Thank County units so as well as Meridian Township units. And then Josh over here is dispatching for East Lansing and MSU. Perfect. So Josh is our dispatcher. Josh is your dispatcher. Nice to meet you. Okay, so essentially you have a pending call here. Looks like a parking complaint. Yeah, we got a parking complaint. So the parking complaint came in on the phones yes. over there. They typed it in, sent it to you, yep. and then you just wait for a unit to clear and then you can dispatch the parking complaint? Yep. Cool. Yes. We noticed you have a lot of different screens here. You have six screens. Can you kind of talk about what each screen does? Sure. So starting over here, this is my radio, and it's divided up by the four police positions. This is the north end of Lansing primarily in the Lansing Township, the south end, the county, out county, and this is East Lansing MSU. So you've got your... So, you know, 78, okay. But anyways, back to the radios, you have your main channels, North Lansing, South Lansing, County, East Lansing. And then you have tactical channels, jail channels. We've got like start channels for the different kind of SWAT teams in the area. We've got Clinton County, Seton County channels. And then there's the fire channels that are over here. So here you've got all your Metro, East Lansing, Lansing fire, and then all your out county fire. And these are all the pagers, don't wanna bump those. Um, and then these are all the tornado sirens. Again, don't wanna bump that. This is our unit screen, basically it tells me the division that they work for. So like MSU is up here, East Lansing's up here. The unit designators, so 231 is command, sergeant for East Lansing, parking. Units tells me their name, what their status is, so they're on the scene, they're at a secondary location, they might be en route to a call. So this person is out on a break, a lunch break. The type of call, so I can immediately look up and what that call, where it's at. Um, this is the pending and assigned screen, which you guys have already talked about. It's got all the calls. This is our map. Tells me where all the calls are. You can see the officers driving around on the screen. And then let's say like this parking call. I can click on this map button and it's gonna give me a really good view of the area and I can zoom in even closer and really see exactly where we are. So we can do a foot pursuit, things like that. I can tell there's a building there. These are the different parcels and addresses, things like that. Down here I have my phone. Uh, I don't take a lot of calls over here, um, but this is my direct dispatch line so the officers can call me from the road to the East Lansing line. I've got a bunch of buttons to push for all kinds of things. Tow trucks, different jails, the airport, the board of water and light consumers, all those places, public service, cadets. So that's basically the six screens. It really seems like a lot at first, but a lot of it is just part of the kind of, you know, these four screens especially are just part of the flow of the dispatching. I'm putting people on the call, I'm seeing who's talking to me on the radio, that kind of stuff. So not as complicated as it looks. Sometimes. I'll be on the phone and dispatching at the same time, so you get both ears and you're trying and to listen so with both ears. I noticed that you have a foot pedal down here yep. and you were using that a few times while we were talking. What's that foot pedal do? The foot pedal controls the radio and what that does is it frees up both my hands. And again, sometimes I'm on the phone and I'm dispatching and all these different things, so it's really important that I free my hands up. So it takes a little bit of coordination after a week, you've got the foot pedal down usually. So you can type, talk on the radio, answer the phone. Yeah, all the I mean, there are times that, you know, I've had people on you know, a main channel, attack channel. I've had people talking to me on attack. I'm on the phone, I'm dispatching. People are yelling at me across the room. I'm looking things up in, in a Google. So it can get pretty crazy, um, which is, I think, my favorite part of the job when it gets that busy. When someone does call 911, what's some information they should be expected to give and what are some questions that the call taker is going to ask them? Okay, so first and foremost, the most important question or answer to, to the, our questions is where are you? If you know where you are at, we can just about do anything for you. 
uh, but you have to know where you're at. If you're calling from a home or a business and you have a landline, um, that information, if you call 911, will pop up on our screen so we can kind of confirm where you're calling from. But when you're calling from a cell phone, um, a lot of people think that that's all they have to do is call 911 and that information automatically feeds to us where they're at. That is not true. You have to know your location. The next question we're going to ask is what's going on? We need to be able to know if you need, do you need an ambulance? Um, is something on fire? Do you need the police department? Or do you just need a referral somewhere that we can transfer you to or give you the phone number for? We'll ask you your name, your phone number. We only use that in case we have to call you back and ask further questions. If the responders want us to ask further questions, um, we have the ability at that point to call you back. We may ask some other kind of questions that are related to the type of call that you're calling in, like maybe you know, do you know the accused? Um, has anybody been drinking? Does anyone have weapons? Things that are off or safety issues for our responders. So they have to ask quite a few questions and people do get a little bit um, upset with us because they think that the um, ambulance is not on the way. We actually started the ambulance at the beginning part of the conversation. So the questions that we're asking, are, are they're not holding up that ambulance response at all. In Ingham County and some other counties, there's a Smart 911 program. Can you talk a little bit about that? Smart 911 is a website that you can Google and go to. Just type in Smart 911. What you're doing is you're registering your information with the county that you reside in. So if I lived in Ingham County, I would just type in my address, my information, anybody that lives in my household. Um, I can include pets in the home, I can include vehicle information, I can include the phone numbers for anyone living in the house, I can include physical descriptions, medical information. You can include as much information or as little information. But when you call 911, and the only time this information pops up is when you call 911, all this information will pop up on our screen. So it allows us, say for instance, you're not able to talk to us we at least have some of this information that we can use. Cool, okay, so we're gonna get out of your hair. Thank you guys. Thank you. Nice Thank to meet you. everyone. You See ya. We're on our way back from dispatch and it looks like there's a, some sort of fire. Okay, so the nature of police work. So we cleared dispatch. It was a great experience heading back to the station and then obviously on the way there we came across a call. So we're going to help Lansing Township out, sit here for a bit. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the video, leave comments for Ingham County. Let them know how much you appreciate them. Thanks for watching. See you later.